Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with my Kit Club video. Shouldn't it have been yesterday, Saturday? Of course, but I had the most horrific day yesterday. Still not over. Let me tell you quickly what happened. I went to the cable store to exchange my cable boxes and asked the question, hey, my internet is just not as peppy as it usually is. Crafters, why did I do that? I came home with new equipment and I had no internet, no landline phone, cable boxes were not working until almost 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the boxes still isn't working, so I have an appointment set for this afternoon on Sunday. I have to have everything set before the work week starts. Lovely. So Saturday was completely thrown out. So here I am now with my Sunday video. Hopefully it will be up by this evening. If anything, Monday morning, Kit Club, still all good. There are so much fabulousness this month as well. So if you're in the Kit Club, you'll be charged on the 5th. You have until the 4th to cancel. If you are new to Kit Club or have a new subscription for this month for something that you see, whether it's a value package, which is a bundle of kits together or an individual kit club your date is from the 6th of the month to the 27th okay let's say the month afterwards you look at what's there and you're like mm, you can cancel up until the 4th and then resubscribe to something else or just cancel for that month and then restart your subscription the following month so kit club is very flexible and you also get 10% off to apply in the Spellbinder store. So that's an additional bonus. Let's get into this Kit Club video. Let's get started. So first up, I have the small die of the month and the large die of the month. This is the small die of the month. Doesn't that look like a large die of the month? Oh, winner, winner. And then the cuteness with the large die of the month done two different ways even the add-on further extends this cupcake extravaganza love it let me go with the small die of the month first you just don't know how draining yesterday was <laughs> oh i need these boots to go walking isn't this gorgeous this small die of the month is called hiking through the meadows love 15 pieces you see florals foliage the boots so you can split this set you can just do the boots alone have your scene you can also use this foliage and florals somewhere else too so this is a bang for your buck two for one die set there are so many examples of these boots you can watch an assembly video on spellbinders website by yana do i have to even say two thumbs up fabulous job fabulous beautiful all right the boot Two and a half inch tall by one and a half inch wide. You get one outline, that's this piece, and then the topper. I love how they look neutral. Just depending on how you do it, it looks like a right and left. So I just tilted mine a little bit. And up here I did the florals. I love this little bit too. It's like, uh, you know, like in potpourri, how they have those little scented, I don't know. It's just cute. I just love it. I'm like, oh, I can use this for a bunch of things. Anyway, laces. There's the laces, the center, and the sides. This gives you that colorway, whether you want it to go lighter or darker on the outside of the boot. And then here is that inner piece. So super cute, hiking through the meadows. On this card, I am using Past Embossing Folder of the Month. Love this one. This is Patchwork. This is an oversized 3D embossing folder, five and a half inch wide, eight and a half inch tall. Look at the detail. Lots of brown leaves. I'm going into that fall look with the colorway. In the background here, I'm using the Essential Hexi Gems. Can't get enough of that one either. Just love it. You've been seeing this one from me a lot. And I just layered up two of them. I did Brush Gold, which is Spellbinder's cardstock, and then a tan cardstock that I ink blended and splattered with Gold Mica. Just to keep that fall theme going. And then this is Spellbinder's Alabaster cardstock in the background. Fabulous cardstock. Better Press, Sentiments of Wonder. Love this set. I had to do this weird thing on the back. That doesn't look pretty. But it's hard to read these sentiments on the 
plate. So I wrote out everything just for my sanity. But I love how they're like cursive, but at the same time small. You see? So pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And I think it's the right size. Love that. Sending good thoughts your way. So I am bringing some better press. I have a lot of better press in this video, actually. So that's the small die of the month, which looks like a large die. This is the large die of the month. Boolicious Fall Cupcakes. Over the top. Love this set. Now, here's a comparison of the small die of the month and the large die of the month. This one is just such a winner because bang for your buck with so many dies. But then look at the large die of the month. Same thing. A tremendous amount of dies. In this one, 30 dies. Okay? 30. Love. This is another one that you can have just a cupcake alone. Happy birthday. All year round with the cupcake. So that's fabulous. And it's a drippy cupcake too. And up here, these are the fall elements. Down here, Halloween elements. This is the background of the cupcake. This is the topper piece, the base. And then that's the decorative element love so you can go solid here and be done or you can top it with this which i love this because that gives you that contrasting color where you can really customize and have fun and then from there with the frosting and everything else now let me give you a measurement on the assembled cupcake four inches tall by two and one eighth of an inch wide a little bit under two and a quarter okay isn't this fun you can customize and just have a ton of fun. I love this set so much. So much fun and play. In my die storage here, I purposely laid out the cupcake just like this. Because this is the direction that the cupcake is made. Base, that's the layer right there. Next layer, then the top three. This is an optional piece that you put in here if you want to do the polka dots and then all the elements to add on to it. So this one is my Halloween cupcake. Brush black cardstock, like almost a neon green, glitter cardstock, purples. I did the skull, the skull has a base, the face, did the bigger bat, did the eyeball. <laughs> this is so fun. And then that's for the pupil of the eyeball right there on top of that big bat. This little bat is from a different set. I'll put the name here. I wanted a little bit of contrast between the bats like this one in the background and here is the broom assembly so there's a broom here is the handle this piece if you want to do the eyeball or the sign that's the background for the sign and then put that boo in anything you want to attach it could have been a jack-o-lantern here the ghost there is a witch hat so cute and i love the pumpkin because by itself it's fall Add this on that it becomes Halloween, but it's the same pumpkin. And I love the layering. See how the layers work with the color? I love that. And then the little topper for the pumpkin is right here. It's one of these. One goes with the pumpkin and then the other one goes with the... Is that a gourd or squash? You know what it is. <laughs> Crafters, I had to reshoot this section. The whole thing was blurry and it's now Monday, okay? Yesterday with the cable wasn't as bad. But I was just so exhausted from the day before. So I'm now playing Kit Club catch up. <laughs> Here is the bones for the skull if you wanted to add that in. So there is just so many elements that you could use. Alone, alone, alone. And like I said, this all year round winner. Great sizing too for an A2 card. This is a little bit oversized from an A2. It is four and a quarter inch wide, but it's five and three quarters of an inch tall. I added an extra quarter of an inch because of the eyeball. Seeing that I have it extending out, okay? So fun, love, love, love. How I did this card, I used Fluted Classics Ovals, one of these dies, to cut this aperture. Back here, I have Hammer Mill cardstock. My first intention was to have the whole thing white, like a slim line. I wanted to have this inked background, like masked, so what I did, I took some black cardstock, used the die, cut this oval aperture, and I went in and did splatter. Silver mica, black acrylic paint, some purple dye ink, thinned out with water and splatter. Then I was gonna have this whole thing. So when I took this off, it wasn't looking as good as I thought. So I put on back my mask here in the black cardstock. Thank goodness I did it in the black. On the black, funny enough, all you see is the 
silver mica, which looks like stars to me. So I left it. I think it gives a whole scene. And usually I would have popped this off and have this recessed in the back. This time they're both on par because there's a lot of height and dimension happening with the broom, the pumpkin, the whole cupcake. This is still has a little bit of height. This one, not so much. Here for the sentiment, I'm using again, sentiments of wonder. They have one Halloween sentiment in there and I just keep using it over and over again to my favorite ghoul. This is with Pebble Cotton Card. So Pebble is a gray one. So I love this little scent. Fabulous, fabulous if you have the better press. Moving on from my cutie patootie Halloween card. Had just a ton of fun making this one. To extend the fun of the Boolicious Fall Cupcake Die Set, there is the Seasonal Cupcake Topper Dies. This is the add-on for the month. Now, this is a separate purchase, not available in the Kit Club. Meaning, when you subscribe to the Kit Club, you get free shipping. I'm going to put direct links for everything, especially this. This is a regular purchase. You could separate them. This could be over here, subscription, finish your order. Come back into the Spellbinders website. Add this. Maybe you want to add a few other things. Like for example, I just hauled my first order of the Vivant or Vivant cord. This one is the pink with the gold flex. I love this stuff so much. And here is the green. Okay, so you could do like anything within the Spellbinder store and add this and then check this out. So this is just a regular purchase. These are limited quantities. Keep that in mind. So you could just purchase this by itself. But if you're there, you may want to add some cardstock or some of the new release, all those nine collections. So this one now gives you the snowman, Valentine's, little extra bit here for the holidays. I have not used this one yet, so you will be seeing a video coming from me with this. I stayed here with fall and Halloween. If you love this, this is a must add to this because this is just super, super fabulous. Look at that, candy and everything, so love. This is the fall version. Here is the cupcake. I pulled out so many different shades of brown cardstock just to get that variation on pumpkin spice up here with like fudgy, chocolatey fun. And this is Spellbinder's Tuscan cardstock. That's the yellow. Alabaster here. Alabaster again here. This is Spellbinder's 3D embossing folder of the month. This embossing folder, if you love all things fall, this is the embossing folder for you. It is gorgeous. It's called Mushroom Harvest. Hello. So gorgeous. I love it. Love it. Love it. 3D embossing folders. You would use the universal plate system. Love, love, love. I was just like, oh, this is a every year. Pull this out for your fall crafting. So I have my little cupcake. Now I added all sorts of goodness. I stayed here and then I branched out. Okay. <laughs> So I went into my Spellbinder stash. From last year, I used Fall Label Motifs. Love this die set. This die set goes on sale a lot. I added my little wheat. I had cut this out, but it was too big. I did a little acorn here. It was all for scale. I was looking for some large, some small. That was my thinking. And then I also went into this set. You remember this one for the Envelope of Wonder? Autumn Wonder. I did the sprigs. There's that large pumpkin. The smaller pumpkins comes back into here. More of the leaves. The leaves, I believe I kept in here for the scaling. Scale and difference. Just having fun. So you could definitely make this and stay right here. But if you have some of these other sets, why not have even more fun? Use a lot of Spellbinders cardstock in here, different colors, just kept on layering up and tucking. In the back here, Essential Modern Ovals. On top of it, I pulled out a stencil from my stash. This is Echo Park's Quilted Stencil. I think that had a fun kitchen look for fall. On this, I used Simon's Lunar Paste in Slippery When Wet and just ran it over like this, die cut it out. On the top, I came into 
the better press of the month now the better press of the month better press is lovely 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 isn't it so the better press of the month is the corner sunflowers the sentiment alone is just so fabulous i love this sizing this is a five by seven card let me give you the sizing on just the sentiment you're looking at two and three quarters of an inch wide by an inch tall on this one i'm using bisque cotton card with bark and we're going to talk about that ink for a second because i do have a little sidebar with it for the example with the better press so here i did the thankful for everything you do just pressed it through and then there's a coordinating die so lovely you can use this all year long love it just did a little stagger here put it on top of this i think it just all works love this fall card so pretty let's stay here with the better press so here is a corner sunflower this is a new color coming up to the sidebar so i'm still playing with watercolor learning about watercolor trying to get that darn background <laughs> Here is like a light wash of it. I think I like it better here than here, but it is what it is. This is Tuscan Better Press Ink. There's a sentiment again. This is Cosmic Sky Better Press Ink. It's like brown with blue and then that touch of the green. In here now, this is the Wax Seal of the Month. Wax Seal of the Month Club also comes with a pack of wax beads. Isn't that fabulous? Copper this month. I used citrine wax beads the citrine picks up back on this so pretty so it's just some flowers fall meadow this is the first time i took some twine looped it up and then put the wax seal here in the back this is porcelain cotton card finish it off with some green gems and then i have a dark brown cardstock just for contrast i love this color so now let's go into the sidebar so along with the original released inks this one is called regal tones nature tones my favorites right here the black and the bark here i'm using cosmic sky on the previous one that's bark but there are some new colors in town this one is flower garden this one is desert sun so now i made a swatch i wish i knew how to use google drive to be able to link up pdf so you guys maybe i'll ask my son to help me with that if you're interested in something like this comment below and let me know i took my time made this whole thing this is all 16 better press ink when it was eight i was okay without having a swatch but now that is 16 and i'm seeing different shades of blue i created a swatch so by swatching it i was able to choose this color to stamp the corner flowers and then i said oh i have the blue here let me come up here so by having the swatch done i'm able to now really play outside of just black and bark okay. to stamp in here i'm using katherine pooler's color swatch stamp set right there i love this because i can go like smaller i like the big square this is a nice big like one inch square so it fits in here I have 16 to the sheet. I can clearly see it. I put each set, regal tone, nature tone, and then I also put individual colors. So like I said, if you really would like something like this, you have all the better press ink, let me know. I'll ask my son to help me figure out how to turn it into a file to attach in one of my videos or a few videos and you can get to print this out because it's nice to have. Really, really nice to have. Helps you to really play with all these awesome better press inks. So this is the better press of the month, Corner Sunflowers. Has this club sold out a lot? Yes. If you're interested in it, subscribe to this club much sooner than later. Since the better press of the month club was introduced, the last two months, it's only two so far, have been sold out. This one should be no exception. And that sentiment alone is like, oh yeah, that's just the added bonus to this whole thing love all right so that's the better press and wax seal of the month this is now glimmer of the month sunflower border hot foil plate five and three quarters of an inch wide by three and a half inch tall oh let me give you a measurement on this floral that would be nice right a little bit over five and a half inch tall by three and a half inch wide so you can get a nice amount of real estate on an a2 card this one now is a landscape card and it has 
beautiful sunflowers another great one to practice your alcohol ink coloring here i used copic markers i didn't go olo i just played with different shades of green like a brighter green a more fall green have all my little sunflowers you can see that these flowers are a little bit bigger perfect for you to practice your blending etc then i cut it out with a coordinating die and put it on this top folding card this is a little bit over an a2 because i wanted to have this green matting layer it's actually white base black green black in the background here i'm using the same hammer mill cardstock i came in with some ink and blended and i did some little splatter and then put this on the top i'm truly grateful that's right there this is white hammer mill cardstock with black opaque hot foil roll i love the black opaque especially for coloring like this with the glimmer of the month you will get a free hot foil roll love that so free hot foil roll with the glimmer and you get a wax bead with the wax seal of the month love 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 let's talk about the 2d embossing folder of the month cascading leaves and stripes so the 3d one is the mushrooms this one i have the background ready to go i just haven't played with it yet <laughs> So you'll see two cards coming from me for Kit Club. So this one has like lines and then the leaves. Time got me. This one, $9 for the embossing folder of the month, free shipping. Tight budget, embossing folder of the month, fabulous choice. Stitch die of the month, can I say love? This one is so much fun. If you love stitching, and this is not hard stitching, but boy, does it look good. I love that. This one is called Enchanted Stitched Mushrooms. Wow. So you get a large mushroom, a small mushroom, everything to put it together, all the layers. Let me give you a measurement on the big guy. Three and a quarter inch tall by two and a half inch wide. You can stitch as much as you want and you can choose not to stitch. I didn't have to stitch this part. I could have skipped this part. I could have just stitched up here and done. Here is the bottom part, has a drop in too. So you could choose to take this out and just have this solid. Same thing with the top of the mushroom. To get the little cutouts though, you're gonna have to use this part with the stitch, but that's only three parts to stitch. So if you're in like a, I must get it done, you could just stitch this and still have this whole card put together. Skip this part, skip that part, because here too is two separate pieces. This separate piece on the outside, which is just a solid piece when you cut it, is here for grounding. So it's a two for one. The outside piece only here with the drop in will give you that part, which I stitched. This is all metallic thread. Still didn't take me that long. In the background, look at that mushroom harvest embossing folder again. Love in a dark forest green. Isn't that lovely? So, 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 so love. These two come together like peanut butter and jelly. They're just so fabulous together. And if you do stitching, oh, she's so unique and beautiful. And I love how you can create this beautiful, intimate little focal scene <laughs> with the help of this leaf here. So I put two of them there, have that grounding, my two little mushrooms. This piece, I thought it was a flower, but then I realized it was here to cover this part which is nice, right? It just adds that extra texture. And in the background, again, I'm using Simon Hurley's Slippery When Wet Lunar Paste just for a highlight. I was thinking of coming on with white pigment ink. It would have lost the fall feel if I did this in white. And I just use my finger and just rub. Because when you use an applicator, it can sometimes come on too strong. But if you use your finger, you can still get that detail so isn't it pretty just with the lunar paste too on this dark green? Just rub it, rub it, rub it. But it gives me this look coming in. The thanks, that's right here. Finished it off with some green gems. So the green gems are in here. I'm in daylight so you can see it right there, right? In person, it's like really subtle with the gems using Spellbinders green gems. But I love how it works with the dark green, this green going back to here with the mushrooms, red card stuck up here. Then in the centers here, I did use solid gold gems. From the gold gems of Spellbinders, you have the crystal part, the solid part. That's the solid part. So super pretty, love this card. A recipient would love this, wouldn't they? Lastly, there is the clear stamp and die of the month, fall thoughtfulness. 
There is two ways of doing this one. You could do a clear stamp only and I will list both below. So the clear stamp only is this beautiful pumpkin, this cluster of fall foliage, sentiments. Where the die comes into play is it cuts out everything, including the sentiments. So the die is like really nice. And when you look at the bundled rate for it, it's a couple dollars more from this one. So if you really love the clear stamp of the month, you might as well go with the die. When I have bought clear stamp of the month in the past, I normally went with the stamp and die. It turned out to be the better deal in the end. And I love how a lot of them now are coming in with the sentiments being cut out as well. Four of them. Happy Thanksgiving. That's a winner right there. Thanks for your thoughtfulness. I'm thankful for a friend like you. Happy fall. This one I did color with the Olo markers. And then in the background, this is from the Better Press Fall Collection Autumn Thanks Frame. This is on porcelain cotton card with bark ink. Tell you I love that bark. And then here I stamped with brown ink. I really like working with better press images and either dies or a stamped image i don't like to always keep it better press must stay only within better press i like to mix and match and then finish it again green gems you know me and the green gems i love spellbinders green gems this color is so fabulous especially for fall crafting it wants to be dark green but it's not dark green so it really lends itself to fall and christmas crafting beautiful so these two came together happy happy okay crafters so in summary i have seven cards here and i still have some more to do don't i i have another cupcake with the cupcake add-on if you are loving this cupcake i'm gonna say it again in the large die of the month halloween fall but if you want to extend it further definitely get the add-on sooner than later then now look at all of this and look at this small die of the month. I love unique die sets like this. This boot is just so adorable. And I love that it's not the typical profile, which is always the side profile. I love that it comes forward and the boot is almost acting like a vase where everything is coming out of it. Love that. You could definitely bring some of the foliage from the large die of the month. Have it up here. Play back and forth. This gorgeous. This is just out the door winner right here love the better press of the month love this sentiment and see i kept it here and also brought it over here could it have worked here too oh it certainly could have so this is just a fantastic sentiment could this have come over here as well it sure could Alrighty, crafters everything will be detailed and linked below until the next video stay crafty my friends enjoy all this goodness again for kit club this is another out the gate winning kit club so much goodness pick what you like there is so many options value clubs etc all crafters until the next video stay crafty my friends bye